I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm Professor Golding, Professor of Computer Science at Daniel Webster College, and I'll be sharing with you a series of videos on the G method, which is a method that involves a gaming motif um, with freshman or novice programmers, uh, and it's a method that combines uh, agile software engineering uh, techniques uh, along with uh, quick prototyping and some pyramid integration schemes. Uh, which allow freshmen uh, to develop very complex gaming systems in C-sharp.net uh, during the first year of programming in college. Uh, an important part of this methodology is uh, giving students uh, a technology roadmap uh, during the first um, eight weeks of a term uh, in order that for them to master uh, on their own uh, the technologies necessary to implement a complete multi-game, multi-client, client-server casino system, uh, which is the software engineering task uh, that we set out for teams of three to four students uh, during their second semester of their college experience. And so this tape is to share with you the very first of those technology demonstrations that we ask the students to uh, implement. Um, keep in mind before I uh, demonstrate this um, executable uh, that we do not um, lecture our students on technical solutions whatsoever in the second term of the course. Students entirely master technology through independent study, cooperative learning with other students on their team, uh, as well as from uh, searching uh, in some excellent texts that we recommend, as well as on the World Wide Web. Uh, but we are training our students very early in their college experience and in their development as scientists and engineers um, to be able to learn on their own, uh, to be able to tackle complex problems on their own, uh, and to master this knowledge that they need predominantly in an independent study basis because this is the, uh, the way that engineers and scientists have to work for the rest of their professional lives. So without further ado, let me just demonstrate um, the first a technology demo that we ask them to do during week one of the second term. Uh, we uh, should point out, of course, uh, that the students uh, have no experience with Windows.net at this point and have more than likely not programmed anything in an event operating system environment. Uh, most students, when they come to the second term, uh, will have done just console programming, and oftentimes it's a very uh, traditional, uh, classical type of programming to help them master um, loops and arrays and pointers um, and basic uh, logical constructs. Uh, my materials that I will be uh, putting on my World Wide Web, as well as videos uh, later this summer, uh, cover actually that very first term um, called the CS1 term. But by the time they arrive at CS2, um, they're re still reasonably um, elementary in their skill sets um, and have no sophisticated object-oriented programming experience whatsoever. So when we tell them they're going to develop um, a multi-game, multi-client casino system, with uh, including the TCP/IP communication to the back room for uh, player counting and uh, casino floor control, uh, they're pretty intimidated especially when they find out that you're not going to be lecturing them on any of the technical knowledge that they need in order to accomplish that task. Uh, but we find it very helpful for them to be intimidated um, and to believe that they're going to be uh, tackling an impossible task. Uh, we'd like our students to sense uh, that uh, they're facing a very high mountain. So, uh, but we give them a modest thing to do during the first week uh, because in the first two to three weeks we're building their confidence uh, that they can actually uh, take on the kinds of things that are necessary uh, to build a full casino system. So here we have a very simple uh, display of a crap table, uh, kind of keeping with a gaming motif. All of our technology demos kind of have a gaming theme about them uh, because gaming creates magnetism, passion, and enthusiasm with young people. So we're going to ask them uh, to log into a, a casino uh, crap table, um, put in a, a password or an identity uh, to display some greetings um, and some other capabilities. We want them to be able to click on event and then do some event um, handling in regard to um, searching a directory and being able to display images on the crap table. Things that they've never done uh, ever before in their lives. So we'll just uh, demonstrate this. We demonstrate the executable to our students the first day of class and we uh, um, place the executable on a World Wide Web so they can uh, run it as many times as they want, but they have actually no access to the code solution. So here we have a login. Uh, they're asked to enter um, an ID, uh, which in this case I will uh, enter uh, an ID that's uh, incorrect, and I'll click on the button, 
and we get a pop-up window again. This is part of what they're going to have to master. Uh, it says um, invalid ID. Enter a number between 1 and 3, so I'll do that at the present time. Uh, we'll put in the number 1 and see if we have more success. And uh, then we'd like them to display uh, a simple label, login successful, good luck, uh, with a gambler's uh, handle in this case. Uh, we, I guess we call this gambler little GTO. Uh, we have some other buttons over here to manage other kinds of events. Um, first, we can mouse over uh, uh, the, uh, the label, welcome to the Rivendell C Casino, to change its color. Or we can come over and um, put the mouse over the control button to change the greeting. Again, changing color and changing font. And then the final thing is to be able to take a series of images that are in a directory uh, and display them on the crap table. And we do that again with another button where we uh, display uh, the dice and we cycle through a complete set of uh, die uh, on the board. Now, not particularly difficult uh, first week. A lot of students can accomplish that in the first three-hour lab, but certainly all of them at the end of the first week. So again, they get, get some confidence. Uh, no one's taught them how to do it. Uh, they've had to look in texts and on the World Wide Web to find out how to work with the IDE. In this particular case, we're working with C-Sharp. In this particular example, the students have had no experience with C-Sharp.net. And actually, in their first term uh, this year, they had actually uh, programmed in C++. Uh, done no object-oriented program, no window programming whatsoever. Uh, entirely console programming. So uh, pretty much everything was new um, as they faced this as their first a challenge and they were all quite successful. Uh, you can find a lot of these materials will be published uh, officially in 2008 uh, on my World Wide Web. Uh, preliminary materials are beginning to go up and um, we'll be uh, keeping you posted as to when uh, you can get access to those. Thank you for joining me. Impression.